the Amiga 1200 still going on strong. It's so popular. It's from the early 90s, but everybody loves this computer. People still use it. People adore it. Some say it's the best Amiga. All right, all right. So you bought this one because everybody, everybody says it's a nice computer. It's a must have. You just got it home. What do you do? How do you connect it? How do you use it? Now you just want to connect the Amiga, turn it on and see what all the fuss is all about. So you have this, this 60 inch flat screen in your living room and yeah, you're going to connect your Amiga to it. And you just find uh, you're looking around. Uh, we got this VGA cable and uh, where do you plug that VGA cable in? Uh, uh, nowhere. All right, all right, all right. So we just have this DVI cable. So where do we connect this one? Are you freaking kidding me? No DVI inputs? No. All right, all right. So let's just let's just check the HDM HDMI because you know HDMI just just it's just everywhere on every device. You just plug it in. You got sound. You got picture. No. What the hell do you do? You just take a look, and are you freaking kidding me? Is it over here? I mean, you just Google it. All right, you Google it and you find out that you that you can that this machine has got an RGB connector. So you have to buy one of these RGB connectors with all this mess. Nothing like the HDMI cable. So you put this one in the RGB and you have no sound so you have to use these old cables to get sound and what what's this I mean your TV does not has this connector it's got HDMI what do you do you google it some more google it some more and you find out that this is what you need something like this Okay, it's got the same color as the plugs on the Amiga. As you can see, we got yellow, we got white, we got red. So uh, let's connect the Amiga and, and, and see how it works. All right, this should be simple. Yellow here, white here, the red one here. All right, let's just give it some power and see what's gonna happen. So you wanna connect your Amiga to your computer monitor, but it's not possible. That one does not have the RCA input, so you end up using the monitor in your uh, or the TV in your living room, and you find out about this disc called Workbench. Workbench, you uh, plug it in, and you're gonna check out how awesome this Amiga 1200 is. The problem is, um, you wait. You wait. It's loading. Yes, we got something here. All right, we got these four colors and it's hard to read what's going on. I mean, you will get a headache if you use it like this. I mean, the quality on the text here. Oh my goodness. Then you press here and you'll wait. You'll wait some more and you'll wait. And you're thinking, what's all the fuss all about? I mean, why does people love this computer? So you just find a, um, you find just another disc. Put that one in. And you wait. Because this is a standard Amiga 1200. You get so impressed. I mean, the music was just great. Nice colors, nice graphic, but you don't want to wait. You don't want to put in all these discs. You don't want to have this kind of picture quality. Come on, guys. So what do you do? 
You ask people on different forums, I got this Amiga 1200. I want to upgrade it. What do I do? There's always a jerk who says Google is your friend. I mean, stop writing that shit. Google is your friend. So some of the awesome guys in this community, they write to you, you have to buy an accelerator card. You have to, you have to upgrade it so you can have, you can connect the Amiga through, you know, digital channel. We have this link and that link over here and you can install compact flash card. You can really upgrade this baby and enjoy it every second of the day. It's an amazing computer. Here are the links, go in and check them out. So what do you do? You check them out. You open your Amiga 1200, you buy some different parts. This one is from individual computers. It's called the Indivision AGA MK2CR and it's from iComp.de. Jens makes these, sells these and they are just great. So you plug this one into your Amiga. Over the chip here. Now, I hate connections like that, just like the Fury on the Amiga 600. I, I, I just hate it, but we're all different guys. So you connect this one over here, and then you put in this cable, ribbon cable, and you magically have DVI connector on the back of your Amiga, so you can have digital picture quality. The problem is, when you install this one, you don't have room for a normal compact flash adapter because usually it will lay over here, your compact flash card. So you have to buy this type of compact flash adapter. So you do that and you install it this way and you install a compact flash card here with all your software in it. And then you buy one of these accelerator cards. I mean, if you wanna play games on the Amiga, then I would recommend WHD Load Gaming and you can play that with the 68010, 020, but they're just too slow. 030 processor is just the sweet spot. 
So you buy one of these accelerator cards, and as you can see, this is the Motorola 68030, 50 megahertz. And that's just enough, guys. It's really, really fast for WHD load gaming. And it's a beautiful card. I love this one. This one is called Blizzard 1230 uh, revision or version for digital products from phase five from 1995 great great products product so uh, let's uh, put this one in let's just install the other thing and turn on the amiga and see how it works all right the amiga 1200 is now pumped up let's give it some power we have the 030 accelerator installed we got the indivision aga installed that gives the signal to a dvi oh, look at this picture quality now you can read What's going on? It looks, it looks amazing. And you enter one of your favorite games, which is Turkin 2. That's just Turkin 3. <laughs> and the picture quality is just perfect. With the DVI connection, I can use my computer monitor, get amazing picture quality no flickering no ghosting in the text it looks i mean it looks better than everything else i have ever seen so this in division aga it's just it's a must have on every amiga 1200 i love the picture quality it's it does not lag it looks it looks amazing and of course you need a compact flash card you don't want to load from discs i mean the, from the nostalgic reasons we love using discs still today but it's so convenient with a um, compact flash card loads so fast with the 030 processor most of the games are just optimized to that to that chip and it just works i mean I don't even. I, I, I don't think I have had any games that does not work with the O30. I don't know. Maybe older games. Um, no idea. But I play shooter mobs like R Type, and and that's from R Type is from '87 or something like that. It's an old one, '89. I don't, I don't remember. But it works. As you can see, all Turkan One, Two, Three works and. And they're just so chaos engine and so many awesome games they 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 just works the menu on this one is just so fast with the old 30 so this is how you can use your amiga 1200 with this little upgrade it's so easy to install no soldering skills no nothing you can just we have some different forums we have facebook we have uh, ebay we have so many uh, awesome stores that 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 still sells all this um, uh, uh, individual computers they they also sell accelerator cards and everything is just so easy to get so easy to install and so fun to enjoy so this is how you upgrade an amiga 1200 and have so much fun with thank you for watching guys now click on one of my other videos and until next time, have some fun. See ya!